the incredible untold story of how Warren Buffett purchased failing Berkshire Hathaway to settle a grudge, and how he turned it into a billion-dollar company. Warren Buffett has remained one of the richest men in the world, and his net worth is reportedly over $100 billion. But he didn't invest his fortune to build these billions of dollars of net worth. He grew his wealth by winning consistently in the stock market. So how did Warren Buffett do it? And what were his strategies to acquire all his fame? In this video, we are going to learn the true and motivational story of how Warren Buffett actually became a billionaire. So let's get started. A Child with Unique Interest This story begins in his birthplace, Omaha, Nebraska, where he was born in August of 1930. His father was a smart businessman, and he had his own company selling stocks and bonds. Warren Buffett was a shy boy who liked reading books, and from books, he developed an early obsession with investing and the game of business. In his childhood, he wanted to put his new knowledge that he learned from the books to use. So at the young age of six, Warren began the business of selling Coca-Cola door to door and making five cents for every six pack on his own. Then at the age of just 11, he used all of his savings to buy his first stock with each stock valued at $38 but shortly after buying it, dropped to around 27 per share. Despite the anxiety, he waited until the value rose to $40 before selling them. Then he noticed that those same shares later shot up to above 200. These experiences and mistakes helped him to become much wiser than the average boy his age. A few years later, his family moved to Washington, D.C., where he began the job of delivering the newspapers simultaneously, earning $179 per month. He later used his savings to buy three pinball machines and installed them at the barber shop. At the end of each week, he split the profits between him and the owners. He later sold his machines for $1,200, and with that money, he bought his first property, a farm, at the age of just 15. The more you learn, the more you earn. After graduating from high school, he enrolled at the University of Pennsylvania, and after obtaining his bachelor's degree, he was later enrolled at the Columbia Business School, where he met a teacher, Benjamin Graham, who was an economist and investor. Warren quickly became one of Benjamin Graham's best students, and after receiving his master's degree, Benjamin Graham offered him a job at his investment firm in New York, to which he gladly agreed. There he learned a lot of investing skills. Buffett Partnership LTD Then, at the age of 25, he returned to Omaha and started his own partnership called Buffett Associates Limited. He did not have enough money to rent an office space and hire some staff, so Warren chose to use his bedrooms and manage the business himself. He began investing in undervalued stocks and also applied his own strategy to them that he called the Cigar Bud. According to this strategy, companies that were ready to go bankrupt were bought so cheap that even their liquidation value was worth more as anyone who picks up a discarded cigars on the street can enjoy a few puffs, which would cost him nothing. This strategy worked for him, and over the next six years of his business, his partnership's net worth increased from a 105,000 venture to a $7.2 million foundation. Ten years into his partnership, he was managing over $44 million in assets, and just three years later, these numbers shot up to an astonishing $104 million. Be fearful when others are greedy. However, while the market was booming and his partners were very happy with the returns on their investment, there was one thing that he had worried about, the rising stock prices. After great success, it became difficult for him to keep making his cigar butt investments in an overvalued stock market, and he was well aware that the bull market would soon be coming to an end. He believed it was too difficult to continue investing with other people's money, and so he made the big decision to dissolve the business altogether and let his partner go. He had already built up a fortune of $25 million by the age of 39, and he was ready to make his next move, turning Berkshire Hathaway into a billion-dollar empire. Berkshire Hathaway After that, he bought Berkshire Hathaway, which was a struggling textile company destined to fail. Its stocks were trading at around $7 in 1965, but its assets were worth at least $11. Naturally, he purchased a lot of shares in the company as a cigar butt, $7.50 each. But three years later, when he arranged a deal with the owner to sell his shares at $11.50, and the final offer came, the owner tried to cheat him by buying his shares at $11.37. When he found the owner's greed, Buffett became angry, and so, in response, he bought out the whole company and fired him. Although he took his revenge, Buffett now found himself stuck owning a company on the decline. 
After a lot of thinking, instead of letting his investment go to waste, he decided to use it instead as a holding firm to make his investments. Buffett's recent bad experience buying undervalued stocks caused him to reconsider his investment strategy. An advice that turned out to be another turning point. But luckily, one of his good friends, Charlie Munger, advised him to change his ideology from buying fair business at a great cost to great businesses at a fair cost. And this advice turned out to be another turning point in Warren Buffett's career. Buffett followed his friend's advice and began searching for companies that he believed had an economic moat. For him, the word moat refers to a company's ability to maintain a competitive advantage over the rest of the industry and still maintain its market share. For instance, Coca-Cola will most likely come to mind whenever you think about soft drinks. This brand has been around for more than a century and is related to billions of people around the world, which makes it harder for other brands to compete against. Following his new philosophy, Warren Buffett started buying large shares in different companies, such as American Express and The Washington Post through Berkshire Hathaway. The stocks of these companies had increased from 11 per share to over $290 by the late 1970s, and Buffett's personal net worth had increased to around $240 million. From stock market to insurance business. After his success, Buffett started to try his luck in the insurance business. As you all know, insurance companies operate much more like banks, as people regularly pay their insurance premiums and company owners generally tend to have a great amount of cash on hand. Buffett used the cash to buy and invest in a series of businesses and generated even more profit from those investments. Then, he started buying up insurance business units, initially National Indemnity, and later Central States Indemnity and GEICO. After tapping into billions of dollars from insurance companies, he began purchasing shares in businesses, most notably 7% of Coca-Cola's total stock. Most Powerful and Profitable Company Over the years, Berkshire Hathaway has bought and held shares in many grade A companies. Most recently, large banks such as Goldman Sachs and the Bank of America made Berkshire Hathaway one of the most powerful and profitable companies in the world, and Buffett himself the richest man on earth in 2008. But even with all his riches and accomplishments, Buffett still remains an astonishingly frugal gentleman who can be seen driving his 2014 Cadillac XTS and often eating McDonald's for breakfast. This is the story of a simple man who understood the game of business and investment better than anyone else. And through his intelligence and self-belief, he is one of the richest men in the whole globe with a net worth of around $100 billion. What's your opinion of this motivational story? Please let us know in the comment box below. For more interesting videos like this, subscribe to our channel.